Hey, hey, Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next love reading saga <laughs> for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Remember, this is a channel strictly for Virgos. So if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. I've just opened up some more slots. So go ahead over there, uh, click that link and get your reading in. They book up pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what else is going on here for you in your love life. We're going to do the Celtic cross. So we've got the past, we have the present, two eights right in a row. Wow. Driving the reading, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. We have the King of Cups is back. Ten of Cups. Wow, this cup energy. Page of Cups, Two of Swords. King of Swords and the Four of Wands, okay? And the challenge here is the Magician. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit. So Virgo, you're in Hermit mode right now. You have a lot on your plate in all areas of your life, Virgo. Um, you're seeking some type of answer, seeking illumination, what you should be doing, which path you should take. Some of you, this is about money or if you should sec accept some kind of offer um, or make some kind of offer. You have ideas and plans and things going on in your life. Look, page of wands energy here. Whew. Feeling very inspired and enthused, okay? Um, and the knight of wands. So it feels, Virgo, to me, like at this time, You've got two pages and a night and trying to figure out, make a decision maybe between two people who are younger or um, that Knight of Wands energy feels like taking action. This is a very passionate drive and I feel like there's some communication maybe between you and another person about hmm, some ideas, some concepts, some plans. Maybe it's just all talking, talking points at this time going back and forth with someone, trying to make a decision about travel or talking about travel Hmm, for some of you. And I know travel might be a little difficult at this time, but this is like freeing yourself up from something, perhaps. Make, you know, like you're really going in and seeking clarity maybe about um, responding to someone or reaching out to someone. You know, what uh, it feels mostly like as some of you received a message and you're kind of going within hermit mode, trying to see clarity about what you want to do at this time. Okay. If you haven't received a message, I do feel like something's coming in for you and you're going to be giving it very heavy thought. Okay. Let's take a look and see what your love messages are. All right, Virgo, release your ex. Wow. Time has come to clear the energy of somebody. All right. For some of you, this does play a role, something that's going on here, or you have somebody who you are connecting with that is clearing their energy, releasing an ex or exes. Okay. This could be the one. All right, Virgo, <laughs> you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, releasing the ex, clearing the energy, even if this ex person is not present you, presently in your life, it's whatever residual is left over, thoughts, uh, memories, things like that, clearing that energy out. And somebody you're connecting with is releasing someone as well because you, Virgo, they're coming to terms with you are the one. You could be the one for them and letting go of someone from their past. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And you know what, Virgo, that was yesterday too. Okay. This is like a this is like a pull that two people cannot seem to remove themselves from. It's like that question. I think I brought that up yesterday. What is this pull? <laughs> what is this pull? All right. Past position. Um, good news, good news, communications. Um, eights are about like power, okay? Um, authority. Uh, a lot of um, Cupid's arrows, this is the 11 and the 11 here. It feels like somebody was communicating with you or communicated about travel or connecting. Um, 
there's like quick change there was some kind of quick change or some speed some action something was taken here let me take a look here see what happened here in the past okay queen of pentacles either came to you or you were giving it to somebody else uh, for some of you i don't know you took some kind of action in your life virgo as well but i feel like somebody else in the past was reaching out to you texting you a lot calling you a lot um doing all that kind of energy but you might have been maybe because of the four swords maybe because there was some kind of retreat or withdrawal um somebody trying to reach out to you in the past maybe you both were in separation or there was like quiet or um there was just kind of this you know somebody was trying to renew something with you in the past after a rest period now the current energy okay somebody that you're connecting with is there's a lot of restrictions that they have around them at this time but there's also an energy of um feeling insecure and not sure if they're going to be able to manifest something here with you okay let's get a clarifying card the challenge is the magician that's gemini energy virgo taurus capricorn we have cancer scorpio pisces and libra uh, Gemini Aquarius okay yeah page of cups this person really wants to try to communicate with you and give you their love and tell you that they love you all right um, this could be somebody new that you've recently met or this could be an ex trying to is letting go of past relationships and trying to come back to you but there's this it's very restricted this person is it feels like they have an insecurity not sure if you'll accept them not sure if you um it feels like low self-esteem so it's a real struggle for this person to kind of communicate their love but they also have the page of cups over here so it feels like they really really want to uh tell you that they love you tell you how they feel about you um volunteer their emotions try to manifest something uh, a restart or something new with you but it's kind of hard for them because they have a lot of deep insecurity with that eight of swords right they isolate themselves or they've been isolated or they're just restricted and um, um, not able to uh, like they're able to but it's it's a challenge for this person look they've got the like the ace of cups is here so like what's driving this reading is a new beginning a new love start here definitely a new emotional love start and i feel like your person is not sure you're going to accept the cup accept the love they want to offer to you okay that you might be indifferent or apathetic towards this um or that it might not be enough for you that they bring in just the page energy that they just communicate their feelings right um, but I feel like they want to try to start to do that, to try to have like a, you know, the magician energy is like turn the visions and their feelings into reality with you. That might be some of the communication that's coming through with this person, but you're just not sure. Some of you might be feeling like, oh no, they're just coming in because they want to roll in the hay. Um, you're trying to be very practical <laughs> and like sort it out. Now what's coming towards you is the oh yeah the king of cups here he was in yesterday's reading so this is someone who's coming in very supportive tolerant empathy king of cups keeps his emotions deep 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 doesn't often reveal them but does feel them very deeply um this person feels kind of feminine in a lot of ways um and i just say that because i'm just looking at the uh or you might view them that way they cross their leg a lot cross her leg a lot is that a feminine trait maybe maybe not but i was just feeling i mean if they're not even more um feminine they they cross their leg a lot <laughs> let's see and i feel like this person has got their eye on you very heavily let's take a look here okay oh yeah you're a wish come true for them definitely wow you're like the cornucopia of love for them this person i feel like there's it, it kind of feels like like a little bit of like there's no one else you're the one for them 
it's like you are you're like a smorgasbord Virgo <laughs> Virgo you're like a smorgasbord of of tantalizing deliciousness <laughs> this is just kind of how I feel <laughs> like they this person they're looking at you like they just feel like they can in, they just want to indulge everything with you they see nine cups and you're like over here like no no no, i'm ten cups oh no 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 you might think they're they're um one cup short of a six pack virgo at times but i feel like this person's just they it feels to me like they don't feel like that you're that they're good enough for you but yet that makes them so crazy attracted to you and the way they go about it or the way they come towards you makes you feel like they're just coming after you for the physical connection but it's actually the easiest or the most familiar way that they know how to come towards you like it's a real challenge for this person to open up and express their feelings and their love okay now virgo sitting in the position of you you've got the ten of cups here so this is like virgo's like i am i'm not accepting the nine cups i the ten cups that's what i deserve that's what i want virgo your 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 advice here is to just be like you know i deserve somebody's entire soul because i deserve that right and the ten of cups energy is like total love and support and I feel like this, whoever this person, you know, they could be any sign, but showing up with that watery energy does show that they're in that element, that they can give that total love and support. But it kind of feels like it's, they just, I don't know. It's like there's maybe a fear of rejection because of that eight of swords. I, I feel like maybe you have to throw this person a little bit of a bone to let them know okay the gates open a little bit a little bit not fully i mean if you want to okay you've got the nine of swords here <laughs> don't let your anxieties get you virgo you got to remember that you're worth the ten cups more than the nine okay you deserve this sometimes your anxieties get the best of you or you stress and you think you worry that this person doesn't feel this way because they don't express how they feel towards you and it may be just confused. Yep. Just what I say is confusing. The moon card is here. So that sometimes it's, you feel like, oh, this something is not, sh it's just almost deceptive, but it's like hidden. You know, this person hides their deepest feelings and you do too. So Virgo, you don't really express yourself because you have that too. Like if you express yourself and be vulnerable and put yourself out there, then you have some type of fear that you will be rejected right like after expressing your deepest feelings but this person feels that way they feel that same way which is pretty crazy here you know i definitely feel like this person can express themselves in the way of like you know the with the passions you know um the physical they definitely do that but the expressions of love the deepest real hard for them but it feels to me like virgo you're like listen okay i get it you, the passion thing got it the chemistry the magnetic attraction is there no doubt but you need to hear you know i love you uh, i just uh, the romance you you need to be like to have that element play too you know not just the physical but also the expression of emotions because then when someone expresses their emotions to you you feel more comfortable and safe and you feel like you're able to do the same in return now this person they they have the the page cup so i do feel like they're gonna try to do this it's a little immature um kind of like sweet nothings this person is like probably more skilled at the physical than they are that the expression of feelings okay king of pentacles is here yeah this person is usually more in the king of pentacles energy when they are like all work business um you know career 
their investments, you know, that kind of thing. So for them to express their emotions, you'll get you'll get a little, right? And they, they will try to do it, but it's it's not a lot. And I just feel like it's due to their insecurities or feelings of like maybe just feeling uncomfortable with it. The expressions of emotions. Yeah. They feel like they're they have this seven of swords here. They tend to run away from having to do that. It, I just, I don't know why it, it just gets a feeling. It's not that it's not important to them. It's just that they would rather not because of a fear of um, being rejected or they have that, those deep insecurities. Um, let's see. just want to get one more. Okay. Yeah. Ten of Wands. I don't know if this person is, they might be like a love avoidant, just extremely uncomfortable. Like it's that 10 of wands, like it's a real heavy burden for them to be open. I feel like when this person expresses how they feel, um, it's, it's kind of the feeling like the day after you were drinking and did some crazy things. And then the day after you wake up and you're like, what did I do? What did I say? This person kind of feels like that. Um, your hopes and fears. I feel like with the two of swords here, it feels like you, you have this hope and this connection with this person, old or new, whomever, that... Um, there will be a compromise that you guys will find a way to meet halfway, to meet in the middle, or a decision gets made about a relationship. But there's a fear that um, there'll be like just staying in a stalemate position or indecision or confusion. There's definitely a fear. I just want to see this person's energy coming forward a little more in depth with their energy here oh there's the king of wands all right you guys we have all kings on the board here king of wands king of pentacles king of swords and the king of cups this person i'm going to tell you right now whoever your person is during this time period through august through september is just completely embracing all elements pre-emperor status this person is embracing all elements of who they are as a person male or female it doesn't matter their um their creative side their their bold their fiery side their intellect the physical their work their career their emotional it's like a, a reset like this person is kind of going through and having some kind of a reset Okay, here you go. Karma, reset, clarity, final decision, a wake up call. You having major influence over this person's life by being truthful, being um, revealing things to them, and them seeing things, having true clarity about their life's purpose, and you being in it. I feel like, Virgo, you in the past were just kind of retreating or just not communicating or you pulled back your energy and that drove this person toward you very swiftly in the past here. And I feel like they truly want to open up and be everything for you at this time. But they have a lot of fear that you're going to reject them. A lot of fear. So communication comes in, Virgo. This person will be coming towards you towards the end of this time period, or even if they're doing it now. Um, this person wants to come home for some of you. I'm hearing, um, or have some kind of reunion. There's going. They're gonna. They're gonna speak now. Is it gonna be lovey dovey, flowery? No. Is are they gonna be talking about business? No. Are they gonna be talking about their passions? No. They're just gonna be uh, very intentional telling you that they wish for um, this connection here with you, this four of wands energy, uh, to, to get into a stable relationship with you, one that has foundation and structure. This is like a realization and planning, 
planning for a marriage, planning to be in a committed relationship, a family, connecting with family, going to some kind of wedding. Um, even this person, it feels like if they were a wedding of, or marriage adverse, it feels like the realization for them at this point is that you are the one for them. You are the one for them. Okay, and this is what they're really connecting with. Releasing their exes or whatever residual was left over for them. All the people that they've been with in the past um, for no matter how long that was. Okay, look at you. Virgo, this is you. This is the Virgo card. Nine of Pentacles. You're in, you're in the best place ever. You are able to... Uh, support yourself financially you have financial gains you're living your life solo pleasure is very attractive you're definitely um, attracting someone and i feel like it's mostly because you want someone but you don't you want this person but you don't need them you have got your ish together virgo and it really doesn't surprise me because virgos usually do and <clears throat> male or female you're just looking incredibly attractive to this person at this time. Now, I know this reading may not resonate for all of you, and that's fine. It doesn't always have to resonate. Um, just like a Netflix series, we watch the series, and sometimes there's certain things that can apply to our lives, and sometimes it's just really good drama so if that's the case if it doesn't resonate for you that's fine just enjoy the show as we keep moving on here virgo let's take a look at the love messages for you okay i know that i crossed the line with you so many things remind me of you okay time apart this person was constantly reminded of you in some very subtle ways but the line that they may have crossed with you I'm not exactly sure what that line was, but I feel like this person recognizes that they did. They look for you everywhere. You guys might still be in separation. So anybody else that they have tried to come in contact with or try to have any kind of like emotional or some type of relationship with, I feel like this person tried to replace you, but it was never fully you. The uniqueness of you, it was never fully you. It was kind of like a knockoff knockoff brand and they realize this letting go of those people i wish i could share my good news with you oh okay they do have some good news i feel like they do want to share it with you um but they're not probably not going to at this point right now i feel like they're just going to try to start up some communication with you <clears throat> they may tell you some of their plans or trips that they're taking or things that they're doing at this time um but i feel like you know what virgo you're just like okay that's great thanks good for you um you're probably not really going to respond because at this point this is what you want okay this is what you want the expression of love okay the expression of like you are my sweetheart and nobody else and vice versa all right, let's get a couple more cards here. Bury myself in work to forget you. See, they do that. And it's not, it's not, for some it could be to forget you, but for others it's because, as I was saying before, that expression of love makes them feel very uncomfortable. So um, they may try to avoid or run away from that because it feels difficult. I don't know. It's something about this vulnerability or revealing themselves to you. I feel you even though we are apart. And this person regrets lying to you. Now lying, for some of you, that might have been outright lies where they just said a straight out lie to you. And for others, it was withholding information, which is essentially not telling the truth, which is essentially lying. Okay, so I feel like it's, it's one of those two energies. Um, all right, let's get a couple of charms. Oh, look, okay, we have the mask, all right? This person was definitely masking for a very long time. Um, now, some of you might be wearing a mask, <laughs> like a literal mask, not a fake mask, but this person I feel like was kind of masking, and I feel like you knew that. That's what the moon energy is, that somewhat of like deception, 
Um, you felt like there was a hiding energy. This person might have been hiding behind some kind of a mask or putting on a front. Um, I feel like that mask is coming off now. Okay. Um, all right. And we also have the airliner, the jet. Okay. So if you guys are at a distance, there may be, this person might be taking a plane, coming to see you, or you getting on a plane and going to see them. There's travel definitely involved coming up here for somebody. There also may be travel taking a trip together. Okay. Um, this is a, this is a really big plane. This is a really big plane. Okay. Um, and then we have hangar. Um, so I feel like this person, it's strange. It just said this person might have a job or a, like a career working in a, um, a hangar at an airport. Maybe they're like a mechanic or they, they work in an airport somehow, some way. Um, there could be a trip to the tropics or somewhere where there's either they're coming from a place towards you where there's palm trees or, um, you're going to a place with them or towards them where there's palm trees. I do feel like that, or somebody's surrounded in some area where there's palm trees. Okay, they just told me to get one more. Or someone's taking a trip somewhere in the tropics. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we've got, it looks like a koi fish. I think. The heck is this? It's a weird looking fish. It's like the top part of a fish. You guys probably wouldn't even recognize it. But this could be a Pisces for some of you that you're connecting with. Oh boy. Now look, there's a fish in here. Okay. This is, uh, the fish usually represents peace. It can represent abundance. This person might be taking pictures of themselves and sending them to you or there's sending you pictures of a new fish they just got. Maybe they have like an aquarium and they work somewhere where there's fish. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's get some advice here for you, Virgo. What is your love advice, Virgo? What is your advice in this situation? Okay. Wow. You have the three of earth. Do what you love, Virgo, and keep doing that. Don't stop doing what you love. Uh, I just heard that song, Don't Stop Believing, by um, Fleetwood, Mac. Fleetwood Mac. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. You will be paid well for your craft or whatever you're working on at this time, working well with others and having an excellent reputation. Very important to you, Virgo, I know. Um, your work is everything to you and your accomplishments and your goals and what you create and the things that you you master are very important to you. You like to be taken seriously in your work and um, the things that you do. This could also be um, teamwork, collaboration, collaborating with someone on the job if you're doing that. And this, this can be a card of marriage as well. Coming into union and, and two people building something together, crafting or creating something out of nothing or what might have been nothing in the past. Okay, beautiful. Again, another Pisces card, awakening, a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where two people see things in a whole new light, embrace your own uniqueness and charitable actions. Look at this. Pisces is all over this reading. I mean, if you're not dealing with a Pisces, that's fine. But if you are, this is definitely for you. So again, this is an energy of like a different perspective. This person seeing this situation from a different perspective, you seeing things differently. I feel like one of you, your horizons are opening up and you're going away and exploring and doing whatever. And this other person, their horizon is getting smaller and they're only seeing you. So it's kind of like, I don't know if the tables have turned or things have switched. You guys have switched roles. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a little cough. Okay. Ego, the illusion of being trapped. This is your person. 
accepting responsibility for their situation and then making choices that support their path to happiness, getting rid of breaking the chains to addictions and unhealthy habits. Okay. And Virgo, listen, none of us are perfect. Um, that could, it feels like your person, it could also be you, Virgo. You could also be breaking chains to things that have kept you um, kind of trapped in a really long time. That This is the devil card. Okay. Obsessions, um, lust, um, confusing love or confusing lust for love, you know, seeing things clearly in your life, breaking old habits, eating habits, um, addictions, you know, getting healthy, getting strong as Capricorn energy. And look, some of you have been praying to Archangel Michael and he's been coming in and helping you, protecting you, and he's been battling for you, male or female, whichever it is, keep praying to him, because he is the angel of, of the warrior angel, fighting your battles and helping you. He's kind of like, you go out there on the front line, and then you call in back up, and he's right there for you. So it looks really good, Virgo, looks really good. I feel like your person is letting go of their past stuff because they're coming to terms and realizing that you are the one for them big decisions and shifts being made for a lot of Virgos. If you peruse the tarot readers on YouTube, you're going to see that. I know you will. You go to a, another Virgo reading and it's like, what the heck's going on? Yeah, big shifts and changes are happening for everyone. It's not, it's not just you, but it's everybody at this time. Do you feel the shift? Go with the flow. Love you, Virgo. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.